Today I'm going to be breaking down a song called Zero from the Ace Combat Zero original soundtrack. This is the winner of one of the latest polls that I did on my Patreon. And boom! Okay, we got some strings opening up with the synthesizer layer. What? <laughs> no way. Mate, the guitar arrangement is so good. Soy Santiago de Compostela. This is crazy that this is uh This is so good. I can't believe this. <laughs> I'm kind of speechless, to be honest. I'm just taking it in. The rhythmic bass with the... what is it called? The... Castanuelas. That was awesome. And this solo female player... Like, on the same level with the guitar in the mix. It's just... <laughs> A 
That's great. Oh, it's fading out. <laughs> what the hell was that? That, that? that was... I mean, this song compared to Daredevil is insanely different, but obviously in the best way possible. So um, let's break it down. I want to talk about Zero starting with something that is really fascinating to me, which is how culture or cultures throughout time has influenced music. You know, when you hear flamenco, which is obviously a big part of what this song is, it's such a, it's such a defining genre that you are instantly transported to, to Spain. Now, as far as I'm concerned, the flamenco originated basically in the southern part of Spain, which is very, very important to consider because the southern part of, of the, that southern, southern region of Spain was under the rule of many different cultures. I, as the, the far, farthest back that I can remember is under the uh, Carthaginian Empire. Then the Carthaginians were wiped out by the Romans and uh, Spain actually got under uh, a Roman rule. And then that southern part of Spain was uh, under the rule of the Moors, which was, which was this Middle Eastern um, civilization. So in a way, the southern part of Spain was like this crucible of cultures, this melting pot of cultures. And of course, a big part of, of every culture in the world is the music, of course. Now, to me, there is a key characteristic that the flamenco has, and it is that it always has this underlying ominous tone to it. It doesn't matter if the song is upbeat, like, for example, in, in this case, you know, the rhythm is very energetic and it's very upbeat. Nevertheless, it still uh, maintains this underlying ominous feel to, 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 to the song. And I think that permeates all the genre uh, uh, overall in, in flamenco. Like, the songs often are in the minor key and they always have this uh, sadness to them. Now, what I'm about to say is just based on pure assumption, okay? But... I have always thought that Middle Eastern music in general it has th that exact same ominous underlying tone in their music. And it, it actually makes a lot of sense when you consider how these uh, people, you know, this culture and these civilizations came to be. You know, when you picture the Middle East, it's a, it's, it's a place on Earth that it's very hostile, you know, it's full of uh, deserts, arid places, lack of water, scorching sun. You know, basically the, the whole environment is trying to kill you. And yet people was able to build, uh, you know, their homes and their culture and their even cities and civilizations. And they grew and they and, and they grew even so powerful that they made empires coming from that, you know. I think it came naturally throughout those experiences that that struggle of surviving such a, a, a kind of places actually was a, an identifying uh, it's like almost like a gene within the, the Middle Eastern music you know the strong all that struggle throughout thousands of years it's just within built within the DNA of the Middle Eastern music I mean, for, for crying out loud, the, the, the cradle of civilization of probably one of them was in Mesopotamia, which is what we currently know as, as Iraq. So that struggle is there for sure. And that struggle bleeds into the culture of southern Spain. And that's how I think it might have bled into flamenco itself.
Now you might be asking yourself, okay, that's cool and all, but what does this have to do with the video game or the storytelling of it or the context of it or whatnot? And even though I know it sounds like a really far stretch, I do think it it has to do with it. Obviously, this is a sort of an arcadey com uh, a fl a combat flight simulator. It has there has to be a struggle within the music, of course. This song is like a sym symphonic flamenco track. It's so much so that I would say maybe the composer came out came up with the guitar part first and then built or integrated everything else. All the other layers came after. Certainly there are cer certain parts in which the, the, the Spanish guitar or the classical guitar takes a little bit of a back seat to give the other layers a little bit more space like the string section uh, and whatnot. Of course, rightfully so, right? You need the motif to, uh, to have space to, to be the motif of a song. Now, if I had to go further in terms of the storytelling of a track, you know, we, we have a we have a very super cool rhythmic bass, not only in the in the in the Spanish guitar, but also in the castanets or the castañuelas, like I said in, in the breakdown. That's like the Spanish name of them, uh, and they are, you know, so incredibly they, the the percussion that they add to the song is so incredibly rich, and that adds a layer of, of a storytelling that you wouldn't imagine because we're talking about fighting jets in the sky right that is all communicated in the flamenco layer in the in the spanish guitar arrangement and in the in the percussion arrangement in the castanets and another thing that is very it, which is very refreshing is that the most of the percussion in the song is driven by the castanets not so much by the percussion in the orchestra now, just for fun, okay, I'm going to make like a wild guess here and say that in terms of the storytelling, let's say that there is like this elite uh, squad of, of pilots, you know, jet fighter pilots that are from Spain and they have this, this like uh, unit, you know what I mean? And this is their song, like this is the song that has the motif of the, of the unit itself. Because I often find in these uh, in in these uh, combat simulators and even even in FPS games like uh, Ghost Recon and, and whatnot, they create these fictional universes in, that have familiar uh, nations in in them. You know, you have you have Russia and United States, the United States, and all the other nations, but they are in a different configuration let's say there are there there are like odd co uh, uh, confederation of nations and maybe in this particular game in ace combat zero spain it's like a very important part of that confederation i'm gonna give this track an a tier hey if you enjoyed this video check out this other breakdown that i did and if you would like to support my work further you can check the support section in the description of this video or you can find my patreon and all the other links, alright? Thank you very much.